hello guys how are you uh, today i decided to record a video about how we can use python inside our aspmvc.net 6 application obviously the question is a little strange how we can combine these two technologies but in our today video i will show you and explain that how we can integrate the python code inside the spmvc application uh, result pages i mean in view pages so let's we first create uh, the spmvc.net uh, 6 application then we will uh, see uh, how to integrate python inside the application and how it works so i am going towards uh, visual studio 2022 let's me create a new project uh, here type ASP okay so I will select this template right click next uh, no I will just give the name of my project as uh, P Python ASP okay it should be the project name and it will create inside this directory click next from the from the drop down you can select any version but i will select here the latest version which is uh, 6.0 okay i will select no and uh, i will uncheck this option you can keep it as by default no issue click on create Okay, the project uh, created successfully. Let me first run the SPMVC application. You can see here the controller for the mode center view, the traditional MVC structure. So click here for running the application. Okay, guys, you can see here that uh, um, we have a very simple basic SP mvc.net 6 application now i will close the project uh, i will just uh, add here a simple controller uh, with the name this python controller let me add the controller uh, it should be an empty controller okay so it should be our controller and let's suppose uh, I will add a view here uh, for this action method for the index click add view so it should be a simple razor view right uh, there should be do uh, configuration the view name should be index and use a layout page from here I will select a layout page in the shared folder we have a layout file okay click add it will take a little time for creating the view for the index action method of the python controller Okay, the view created successfully. Now I will just add here a very simple div. Div. I will assign here a row to this div, right? And inside this div, I will just create a column. Its class should be column LG12. It's enough. Okay, guys. Now inside this index method, inside this page, I will integrate the Python code. So for integrating the Python code, you have to import two libraries, right? I have already copied the address of these libraries. So these are the links. One is the CSS file and one is the JavaScript file. The CSS file and the PyScript file, sorry. Sorry guys, it is the PyScript, I mean Python uh, JS file right after this you have to write your code here 
uh, inside uh, HTML. I can either write here, uh, I can write here, but at this time, I will write my code here inside this div. Okay, so I have here a very simple code. Uh, let's me uh, just copy this one. Okay, uh, if you want to write JavaScript code inside your application, then you can do like in this way. You will enclose the code inside the script tag, right? Now, if you want to write the Python code, you have to use the Py script like in this way, and then it's closing tag, right? So it's closing should be like in this way. If I ask you a question that how we can print a statement in Python, in many of you, you will be familiar like in .NET, we can write console.lion line. In JavaScript, we can console.log uh, to print the message or document.write. But in Python, we have a pre-built function print like in this way. And here we will uh, give the text. So, hello, it is Uh, it is Python code in ASP, right? So basically, this block contains the Python code. Here, I will just add h1 tag for understanding. Uh, uh, let's suppose we I write like oh, sorry, guys new code okay no we will uh, this uh, h1 tag uh, will be a render and after this there will be the python code inside the python code we are printing just a very simple statement let's me run the application okay let's we see the result okay now go to the index method of the python controller right yes like in this way index okay guys now here uh, uh, some uh, libraries are uh, in the root progress of the uh, these are the python libraries okay guys now you can see that these were our this is our h1 tag uh, this and it is the python code what it prints on the uh, in the browser you can see a uh, hello it is python code if I just, uh, just inspect this code, you can see that uh, it is the h1 tag and here in the py script, we get a complete HTML like this one shadow root. So it is automatically generated. This code is automatically generated by Python. Okay. Now let's see another example. Uh, we will print this statement again and again inside the Python loop. So go to the browser just tap here simple uh, sorry for the wrong spelling of python simple python for loop okay guys for our simplicity purpose i will just copy the code from here to save the time yes i want to iterate uh, like in this way yes just copy this okay copy the array here right and now I will copy this code right so this one let me correct this code sorry guys yes if x is equal to banana then break otherwise print so except these element of the array the remaining two element the apple and the chain will be printed inside our browser let's me run the code again and i will go to the python index page just wait a little it throws an exception let's me see 
most recent of file pages what kind of exception this is let's we see close and then for okay so it will be in x let's we see the original statement inside the yes there should be a tab in python you know that we write the next statement uh, one one step forward like in this way so press tab press tab and press tab let's we see it will be i think here control z like in this way there may be syntax error okay guys you can see here that i correct the code and now we have uh, the apple element inside the um, inside our browser okay now let's suppose i want to i think there is some issue with the code because i write the condition if x uh, in fruits if x is equal to banana then break else print let's suppose i uh, remove this code right no all the three elements of the array printed successfully uh, you will be familiar in python uh, that we are using it for data science from machine learning and uh, there are very popular libraries of python like numpy like pandas that we are using from the first day okay now i will integrate here the numpy code inside the spmvc view page and you will see the result inside the browser okay so these things will remain uh, same let's me remove this code okay and uh, i will just add here some i will also remove uh, remove this code right okay so I have already uh, uh, write some code like this one. So you have to pass the code like in this way. It is also some num uh, uh, numpy and uh, I am using this for importing this library inside or inside the SPMVC application. So you you have to write like in this way. I will use this two library inside the Py script. Okay, and then you know. Uh, um, I will just write here uh, a very basic HTML like this one uh, plot okay and inside this div I will print um, a complete chart okay so let's me copy the Python code that I will use for printing the the chart okay I will use the code here yes and no this code this line of code will print a chart inside this div uh, it's uh, the same uh, the statement is very simple it is PyScript you means you are using the uh, Python code inside the block like you use a script for writing the JavaScript code inside the browser okay and then I am output uh, this is the output property uh, these and its value is plot this mean that I will print uh, the result of this code inside the div with ID plot right plot plot okay now in the first line I am just importing the uh, this library from the Python and then I am importing the numpy uh, library uh, here I am generating a random uh, number uh, here again a random number if you want to study about these two functions then you you can just google and can read about these two functionality of the python same like for this one I will not tell you about the python code in detail how these functions were what is numpy what is this uh, sorry for the uh, wrong pronunciation uh, like numpy or um, other library like pandas okay so 
you have to study about python in your own time in this video our main focus is how we can use python inside the spmvc.net 6 application so save the code uh, we import this and uh, write the python code and i have just uh, uh, write here two tags uh, two tags html tags this one is simple h1 and here i will print the chart so let's me stop the application run the application again okay go to the python controller yes press enter okay now something is coming from the directory from the align directory it will uh, load uh, the uh, environment the runtime the web assembly okay guys uh, if you are familiar with the python then you will obviously have uh, experience of this kind of charts inside python and now we are printing the python charts uh, the data science things in our mvc application if i just inspect this code uh, here we have a div column lg and then then plot if i show you here we have the h1 tag this one and here we have the div with id plot this one but it is empty here inside our code and here you can see that there are lots of things inside the plot here you here uh, it prints the image inside the div so these all kind of things uh, done automatically by the python code okay so guys you can use uh, this kind of uh, things inside the sp mvc application very easy you know no it is uh, it was just a uh, very basic example uh, of python you can um, try a much more complex example of python inside mvc application so the basic thing that you have to import these two Mm, libraries inside your SPMVC application then uh, it is the way uh, if let's suppose you import you want to import here the panda then you have to write here like in this way the pandas okay pandas and then you have to write import here right and then you can use for better understanding i will uh, suggest you to first write the python code inside the pycharm and then just copy and paste here if i just go to the pycharm it is the popular uh, python code editor you can do python development here so my suggestion is to write first python code here inside the python editor execute and if works correctly then just copy and paste the code inside the browser it will be automatic to work you can uh, read and study the documentation about how we can integrate python inside the browser uh, this was um, yes uh, so, uh, the complete work done by the the team of uh, anaconda that how we can use python oh, sorry uh, python inside the browsers so it is the website of anaconda it's uh, the team of the anaconda uh, did a great job because uh, if we go a little back then there was no option to use python inside the browser but now they give the ability in the future days you will see lots of things lots of improvement uh, at this time uh, goodbye keep uh, take care of yourself Goodbye.